Hi, we're here with uh, Rob Spurway, Fonterra's MD Global Operations. Uh, Rob, there's been a lot of talk about Fonterra and energy use in the news lately. Uh, what, what's stopping Fonterra from getting out of coal? Uh, really, I think it's something not just on the community's mind, but on our mind as well. And uh, yeah, I'd say there's nothing stopping us. In fact, we're making good progress already. Our efforts have been focused around energy reduction. Uh, at Studhome, which we're consenting at the moment, uh, for the first time we've made an absolute commitment to include biomass as a supplementary fuel in our boilers. What's stopping us using 100% wood waste now? Our reality is the scale that we operate and our wood mass is a much lower density fuel for us so we need wood mass that's near our site so we don't chew up all the benefits in our supply chain and getting it there. Uh, so the reality is that we need to find viable sources of wood mass that are going to be there for the long term. We, these sites last for 30 or 40 years at least, so we need to have the confidence there's enough wood mass there. At the moment we don't. It would be a huge area that would have to be planted in trees to sustain our operations. Uh, so we see it as one option, but it's only one of many renewable sources we're looking at. What are the alternatives to coal at the moment? Well, as we've said before, in the South Island there are very limited options at the scale we operate. There's no natural gas at that scale. Uh, and biomass is limited to the wood that's available in a, a nearby area. So we see it as a supplementary option. But at this stage we haven't been able to work out how we could fully replace coal. We're also exploring options in the North Island. We have 17 sites in the North Island. Only three of them burn coal. Uh, so I'd expect over the next couple of years you'll see some real progress as we look to alternatives such as natural gas but more importantly a move towards renewables, uh, biomass and even potentially uh, electric energy generated from renewable sources such as hydro and, um, and solar. How long before we see a start? As I said, I, you know, we have started. We've been working really hard at reducing our intensity. We've made a commitment for the next expansion at Studholm and we've got work actively underway with uh, other providers of energy to look at how we transition our North Island coal burning sites to other sources of energy. So you know, I'd expect you'll see some further progress over the next year or two, uh, but we're working very actively in the background and right now. Yourself personally, what direction would you like to see Fonterra move in? I'd like to see us move from uh, really great progress that we've seen in intensity reduction uh, to a step change such as what we're doing at Studholm where we bring biomass in, prove up that type of supply chain and continue to roll it out so that we're seeing real progress and absolute reductions around carbon from coal use. Um, I think beyond that, so that's in the foreseeable future, perhaps a you know, two to ten year plan to really see good progress in that space given the assets we have on the ground. And then uh, what I've already voiced is a desire to see a commitment that rolls out 20 and 30 and 40 years around a move to a fully renewable future in terms of energy. Rob Spurway, thank you very much. Cheers Richard.